Okay, I've been trying really hard to get a good video to show the function of the NetMeter Solar LCD30 charge controller. These are sold online. A couple of local guys will have them. My understanding is there's a couple other companies that sell this format of charge controller with pretty similar programming inside. Basically, it's a single button programming. All this button does is turn on the external load on or off. So if I turn that off, um, usually it controls the lights. Not always, apparently. Uh, could be because the lights are ground. Uh, the ground on those is working through my... Uh, the trailer body it's not a separate thing so the uh, the thing here even though it's pretty dark and rainy out the batteries have been kept up at 100 percent just because I have a lot of solar panel on the roof of this thing um, here we're 12.8 volts we've only got about a half amp of power production again because it's very rainy and cold out um, a half amp of power production is is feeding through to the batteries that's what that little arrow tells us. A little smiley face says everything's working right. Here, even though I'm running lights, uh, it's not a measurable amount. So it shows no, no net voltage is going out, which means that we're basically using the electricity at about the same rate we're, we're bringing it in. And that's basically because I've got a a 400 watt solar array operating at under 10 percent capacity because of the cloud cover running running a couple of uh, lights here one of which is an led the uh so that's the net meter charge controller and i really like them because of the readout i like them because they have a comprehensive owner's manual and uh setup on these is really dirt simple a lot of pictogram stuff here um pictogram stuff up on the readout you know these are made in China and simply printed with whatever company happened to import the latest batch the other thing is it's going to work on 12 or 24 volt systems but remember if you hook it up on a 24 volt system your outgoing voltage over here also becomes 24 volt which prevents you from using a lot of RV type stuff um, it does make it compatible with a smaller grid tie inverter like this one and you you can get 24 volt lighting or voltage reducing stuff uh, but that's the net meter solar lcd 30 basically your positive and negatives are all you know they all make sense with battery hookups here it'll use uh eight gauge cable i believe you can cram six in there but it gets a little tricky really want to use just 8 gauge cable with this and a lot of times what's going to come in from your uh, array is going to be uh, 10 or 12 gauge cable uh, the inverter handle or I mean this charge controller handles up to 30 amps of power which some people will translate to roughly 500 watts worth of solar uh, stuff although that has a little bit of fudge factor too so you want to think about more in the terms of 4 to 500 watts because when solar panels are brand new, they will produce over 100% of the rated power. It has to do with the way they word the warranty and some of that kind of stuff. Uh, right now, with 400 watts worth of panels on the roof, operating at very low efficiency because this is in the rain, it's in the bad weather, uh, I'm, I'm going to get nowhere near the 30 amps uh, flowing through this thing. In a summertime, though, with what would normally only be 24 amps of rated power, it does spike over 30 amps. And at that stage, what happens is the little internal circuit just kind of shuts it off momentarily until the outside uh, spike is over. What I'm going to upload at about the same time as the video on this NetMeter Solar LCD30 is a comparable Harbor Freight unit, which it turns out appears to be a little bit more different on the inside. 